Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm finally recording something new. Oh my god. And I don't even know how long I can even keep my full volume of voice, but it's okay. Hello there, everybody. This is Siwap Platinum. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Klonoa Fantasy Reverie Series, everybody. Yeah. Blah, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Anyway... Klonoa, this is a very classic series that people often remember from their good old days. I've never played any of these games. <laughs> but apparently they're really, really good, and I really, really hope that they are enjoyable. So, uh, basically this Let's Play is titled uh, Klonoa Fantasy Reverie Series because of the sole fact that this is a remaster that came out recently of Klonoa 1 which is called Door to Phantom Meal, and Klonoa 2. Luna Te... Luna Te? Luna Te? I don't know. The, the, the veil. The veil person. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this is a remaster that came out earlier this year. It's available on everything. And it has remasters of Klonoa 1 and Klonoa 2 on them, which, given that this title is called Fantasy Reverie Series... This is going to be a let's play of both one and two. And I never played these games before. I've heard plenty about them. And I've actually planned this let's play ever since this game was announced. So I was like, okay, I might as well do it. So, yeah. Uh, should be fun. Which I hope it's fun. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really hope this is the case, because uh, I've heard plenty good about this, about, about Klonoa. So, let's do this. All right, new game, options. Uh, auto save on, vibration on, tutorial. Eh, I guess we'll turn on. Pixel filter. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll turn that off. <laughs> Display curl time, yes. Select costumes. I didn't actually get the uh, special digital bundle for this, so there won't be any extra costumes. But I'm going to stick with the normal one for right now. The normal costume. And then uh, we're, ju we're just going to see how all this goes. And I like to have the voices overpower that. So that's a cute little sprite animation right there. That's cute. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, easy first time playing normal if you're good at action games. Oh, I mean, of course. Why else would I play normal? I mean, it's not like hard is a difficulty option, except it isn't. That's probably unlockable. Anyway, let's go. Skip fast forward. Plus da, 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 da. We're not skipping any of these scenes, by the way. Klonoa, door to Phantom Meal. It's strange. Sometimes I know I've had a dream, but I just can't remember it. Where did those dreams go? They go into Kingdom Hearts, obviously. But I do remember this one dream, so clearly as if I saw it with my own eyes. Ha <laughs> ha 
Whoa, the dream actually happened. <laughs> well, if that, if that blue thing is right there, then, uh, oh my god. That's, uh, certainly something, alright. That's just how the world theming is going to be. Play with two players in support mode. Support mode allows you to do that. Da, da, da. In support mode, I'm not going to play two player because I don't have anybody to play with. But you can use these tutorials if you want to. That's fine. I, I bumped my mic again. I'm so unprofessional. Right. All right. So, so what I do know is that it's a side scroller, obviously. Which, if that's my thing, then, you know, it's my thing. Collect the dream stones. Collect all 100 coins to get an extra life. There are two types of blue. There are types of that. Blue dream stones are worth five green stones. Try to collect 150 dream stones per state. Oh, jeez. I'm just really hoping that um, this isn't going to be one of those games where you have to 100% because otherwise I'm just going to like, oh boy. I probably should ask my buddies if uh, you have to 100% it. Uh, do you have to double jump? Oh my god, I'm I'm doing terrible! <laughs> oh, okay, so you can review tutorial. That's that's fine. If you speed to jump, if you use well, you can dodge enemy attacks. Jump while Konoa is holding an enemy to double jump in midair. Uh, fluttering jump hold B to do that and that. Press A to fire a wind bullet. Enemies hit with wind bullets can be grabbed. Press A to hold an enemy you're holding. You can throw enemies in other ones. Try throwing enemies at different angles. Okay, so you shoot them and then you throw them. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So can you throw them at this thing? Though? Oh, you can throw them in the background, that's for sure. That's definitely a cause for celebration. I am almost dead on the very f on the very first minutes of this game. I I'm doing wonderfully. I'm doing masterfully. A master's thesis in how to play a video game. Crack open a nakoko egg with an enemy. Klonoa can find valuable items inside. Sometimes you'll find rare items. All right, we're gonna use this. I said, I said. Okay, I really need to figure out like depth perception. I really need to figure out like depth perception here because I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I, sh I should definitely look up as to whether or not I should 100% there or not. Cause uh, those, those dreamstone things sound very, very important. Save dreamers from their nightmares. In every vision, you'll find six phantom millions who are trapped in their nightmares. Find and save them. Okay, so the, those are basically like the letters of Kong in the DK. A heart container? Hey, oh, a heart container. That's great. If you could ignore the, the barking in the background of my dogs, then that would be wonderful. Thank you. 
thank you. They were okay before, so I don't really know why that isn't the case now. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to play this. A uh, memory clock. So if uh, Klonoa passes out, he'll start at the place where he picked up a clock. That's basically a checkpoint. Okay. There are places built with multiple paths. The path down progresses forward. The path up may have items. Okay. That's not that's not what I'm talking about. Okay. Here we go. I like how the I like how the stock silly sound effect is like the back button. Aha, there we go. At least I got that one. At least I got that one okay. Oh, oh, there okay. Okay, there okay. Okay. All right. So you can jump higher with that. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. My recording's only like 15 minutes in, but it's okay. I'm learning. That's okay. Okay. All right. So I can at the very least get uh that other that dreamstone thing. Which is fine. There we go. There it is. I got hit, but that's okay. Once again, I'm a Luna. <laughs> okay. All right. So now that I now that I at least figured out things, um, you see, it takes me a lot. It takes me a little bit to figure out things. So I'm sorry if this has been like this has been like you know appalling, I guess appalling gameplay, I suppose. But you know you gotta understand this is my first time playing playing this game. Fangrass, stand above stand above this plant to. Uh, Sail away on a strong breeze. And that was just a tutorial about uh, the thing. Um, okay. Here we go. Okay. Got that one. I think I'm just gonna totally miss that. I think I'm just gonna totally miss that thing. If I have to go... If I have to go after those six trumpet things, then... That's fine. But if I don't have to, that's also okay. <laughs> Again, I, I'm thinking in the vein. I'm thinking in the vein of uh, Kirby Streamline Three, where you have to like 100% the game in order to figure out things. Oh, two goes there. Here, here. Oh damn. What is happening? Oh, look at this guy. Hey, old man. Hey, old man. How dare you go through my tower? Uh, something. Hold it right there. Harumph. Oof. There he go. Hey, kid. Shouldn't be sneaking around in here. Sorry. Hmm. Apology accepted. He's a, he's a great. Baloo. Baloo. I like this guy. Amazing. So, have you had a look at the lovely Lafice outside? It's it's my masterpiece. Lafice? Don't know, eh? She's the legendary diva who sings the song of rebirth. Indeed she does. She doesn't definitely looks like that. Never heard of her. Kids these days. They don't know. They don't understand. They don't know. Of course they don't know. See this tower here? I'm building it so I can reach the Moon Kingdom. You see, that's where Lefice lives. Wow. I wonder if it's possible. Hugh Pow is his name? Is their name? With a love like mine, nothing is impossible. Love? I, right. no, I think we should get going. This is a platformer with the story, so I appreciate that. Um, we gotta go. I see. Well, take care. We will. Thanks. So long. Good luck, Balu. Hugh Pow. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about the name Hugh Pow, but you know the design is cute. Oh my God! The puppies! I, I keep telling, I keep telling you, the I keep telling you, the puppies are like way too loud. So you expect this sort of unprofessionalism from me? Yes, sir, you do. We've already got that tutorial already. Let's take the upper path. Let's see what that's all about. Get that coin. 
probably imagine I can't really grab those. So let's uh, let's move on right there. I mean, I'm almost to a free. I'm almost to a free guy, so that's good. Heart large restores restores all three of Klonoa's health. Okay, thank God. <laughs> thank you, God. Thank you, Gord. And I probably imagine that I want to take the lower path too, cause like, cause like that's only like five. That's I only got like five out of six. So uh, let's uh, let's go back a little bit, and let's jump down. Let's see what's over here. Find mirror spirits and dream stones. When the mirror spirit when the mirror spirit is accompanying Klonoa, each dream stone if he finds is worth <laughs> double. Nice. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we got there. All right, there it is. There we go. If the levels are gonna have multiple paths, then I'm gonna be, then I'm gonna be the one to explore them all. Vision one dash one clear. Yeah, there we go. The loading screens are way too much. Yes, sir. got all of them there and look at that we got a little fireworks for a job well done nice job mr. fireworks all right unlock the extra vision the map will show all the phantom millions you rescued from the nightmares save them all to unlock an extra vision I'm only assuming that the extra vision just basically means like extra levels so yeah. Uh. Okay, I gotta look up some. I gotta look up something real quick, like 100% requ Like, uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, d d d just look up something real quick for 100% completion. Okay, so only the Phantom Millions matter. Thank God. Okay. Um, but however, if you do get 150, you get an extra cutscene. Um, I'm probably not gonna go after those. Because this is my first playthrough. I don't really 100% anything in my first playthrough. But if getting all the rest of the uh, Phantom Medians is, is really is what you need for 100%, then that that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> like that, that, that's, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. The Diva and the Dark Spirit. Gunston Mine. All right. Okay. So... Yeah, uh, I don't really know, I don't really know what to say about this situation, other than I'm just playing the video game. Oh, oh wait, oh wait, I, I forgot to also, <laughs> I forgot to also say, like, while I searched, while I searched for that, um, one of the search topics came up as, uh, is Klonoa a brother of Sonic? <laughs> Shield it, moo! Hit it from behind. Oh, those enemy, are, they're really called moos? Really? <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> okay. That's really weird, but, you know, okay. I suppose that's fine. Shoot it, Moo. That's a cute name. Moo. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, gee. Okay. I thought it was gonna slip. Alright. Let's get that heart. Um, am I missing anything, or is that pit just death? Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's death over there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm better safe than sorry. I'm better safe than sorry in this situation. Okay, get the checkpoints, and this is the minecart where I'm gonna go around spinning around like a fool because I can't really move in this situation. Well, I can jump. Okay, so this is the uh, DK minecart. Okay. Uh, gotta pay attention here to the things. Oh. Okay. Never mind. There wasn't anything on. There wasn't anything on the path. Like, thank God. Okay. Let's get these. Get you. 
Oh, another one with uh, the pathways I see. Okay. All right, get that heart. Can you? No. Okay, so I was right. You can't actually. Uh, you can't actually uh, grab those things. Okay. Let's get that guy. Let's get that dude. Let's get the dream thingy, and then we get an extra life. Get some more of these. Get some more of that. And we are on the way. Okay, let's go. Let's go down here. Okay, thankfully it takes us over to this path. Thank, thank goodness. I don't really need it. Okay. Look out for hidden Nukura eggs. Some Nukura eggs are invisible. Look for their shadows on the ground to find them. All right. Right there. I, I, I said right there, but you know, obviously I killed that guy. So obviously that's way too late. <laughs> Unless they follow the rules and uh, okay, good. Okay, good, 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 good. Kind of weird that enemies don't respond, and, but I'm like, thank God they they actually do. Thank God. Okay, let's get that checkpoint. Ooh, and let's see what's over here. Okay, so if you're wondering about how this game runs on Switch, uh, well, I actually looked this up beforehand. And uh, it actually turns out that this game actually does run at like 50 or something. Should that be like a deal breaker to you if you want to? If you want to actually play this game for yourself, probably not. Like I'm not really uh, I'm not really too fussed about how this game only runs at. Okay, aim for mysterious seals. If you find a mysterious seal, um, try throwing an enemy at it. You'll knock down pillars and be able to continue. Your adventure. Okay. Um. So if you're if you're too fussed about like actual frame rates to uh, to see this game doesn't run perfectly on Switch, like like I said, um, it's it's a uh, 50 frame. It's about 50 frames per second from all the footage I've seen. So it's like um. So it's like, oh my god, why can't this game run at 60 frames? 60? I mean, again, I'm not like, I'm not a frame rate, I'm not a frame rate fool. Like, I'm not like a fool who like, who's like, this is the end all be all frame rate stutter whatevers. <laughs> um, but it's just weird that this game kind of runs at, um, 50, is like 50, between 50, 55 rather than 60. It's just weird. Is that a deal breaker for me? Nope, because I've been wanting to play this game ever since it came out. I was like, okay, I have to actually, I have to legitimately blindly play this game because there was, there hasn't been any way, like any way for me to actually play this. Like I technically could have gotten the Wii game, but I, I technically could have gotten Klonoa one on the Wii just to see how that was. But like, no. <laughs> Like this remaster is just kind of perfect. It's kind of like the perfect thing because it includes one and two, so it's like two for one, two for one. So I figured that would be like absolutely perfect for me to actually uh, do a let's play on. Just have the two games in one. We finally reached the Bell Hill. Shush, shush. Oh, it's a visit. Indeed, it is the diva Leffies. Oh, look at this guy. Well done, Joker. Joker? I'm honored, Gadius, your darkness. Gadius. I like this dude. Leffies? That's a diva we've heard about. You know, the goddess. Our dear diva. <laughs> this dude... I can't allow you to save the world with your little song of rebirth. After all, this world will have no need for rebirth. One for once I imprison you in my darkness. It'll she'll be destroyed by your hand. He's got a peak. Or they got a peak. Wow. 
This is the evil bad guy, and the evil bad guy, Jessica. Now then, my Joker. Where's that pendant? Yeah, where is it? Sire! Sire! Hmm, this is strange. Can't seem to find it. What? What are they looking for? I kind of wish this didn't auto advance. They said something about a pendant. Who are they? They're the evil bad guy. Hmm? Ah, it appears we have some mice. No matter. The feast is in our hands. Joker, I'm counting on you to take care of the rest. Yes, sire. What are they up to? Oh no, they're taking away the, the, the evil. Oh man. Uh, exclamation point. Come out, come out, my little Macy's. We have to go. Sure. Two teensy mice. See how they run. But this won't do. Who are you people anyway? Oh me, oh my. Kids these days don't have proper manners. What is it with this game and talking about kids? I got no choice. You vote looks like you've earned yourself a proper punishment. Oh, it's boss time. Here we go. It's showtime! <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, my dear Rango, but watch her behind. Watch her behind. Aim for his rear. Aim for the rear. Oh, Rongo Lango! <laughs> Run around the back and throw an enemy at Lang uh, Rongo Lango's rear. Get him in his ass. That's what, that's the translation. There we go. All right, let's get, let's get him. This guy's design is so weird. I like it. I kind of like it. Okay, all right. Simple enough. Simple enough to deal with. Not really too fussed because uh, this really only is like the first boss, what I'm assuming is many. Yeah, there we go. You know, bad guys, this, this is literally, this is really all your fault. Like, you're the one supplying me with ammo to kick to kick this thing's ass with. Okay, let's just, uh, do this one over here. Ha! There we go. Um, unless, unless that bell has the last, uh, Phantom Median thing, uh, nope. No! Just you wait! I won't forget this! Hey, something fell. Something did fall, indeed. A pendant? The Diva Le Fies, the Fies and the moon shape pen and a moon-shaped pendant. Let's ask Grandpa about this. Hi, Grandpa. Sure. Yeah, that was totally the end of that level. Uh, Klonoa, you've really done it this time. You went on an adventure without your old grandpa, Cranky Kong. This is a crest of the Moon Kingdom. The Moon Kingdom? Uh-huh, a mystical kingdom spoken only of in legend. Klonoa, what about that guy in the tower? That's right. Hey, Grandpa, is there really a Moon Kingdom? Hmm. Perhaps there is, but then again, maybe not. At any rate, I have a bad feeling about this Gadius character who kidnapped the girl. Either way, this is far too much for us to handle. Klonoa, go to Forlock for Forlock Forest and tell their granny about this. Okay. We'll be back. The Moon Kingdom, hmm. Yeah, definitely I appreciate that fact about this actually having a story, like, that's pretty good.
That's definitely pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I missed one Phantom Million, so I'm gonna have to go back. I'm definitely gonna have to go back for it. So we can just totally forget this. Vision 1.2 and 1-2 and then no 2-1, sorry. And uh <laughs> let's just go back there really quick. Let's see what's in here. Cause I haven't actually gone this way. Giant Moo! Throw enemies at these to defeat them. Defeated enemies leave lots of dream stones behind. You can also inflate enemies by hitting them with a wind bullet and then hitch right on their heads. Alright. Gotcha. There we go. That's what we're talking about. And there it is. Okay. I was wondering where the last one could... I was wondering where this one could be. And it's actually a good thing that I did actually go... I did actually go here when I, when I did. I think that's the only part of this level that we haven't actually explored yet, so... Thank God, it was actually it was actually the last one we needed, and the very thankfully it was right there. <laughs> All right, I got it. All right, so we got that celebration. We can just totally skip entirely, and there we go. There it is. I think that will actually do, cause. Uh, I spent a lot of time, you know, trying to pacify, you know, my dogs. I tried to figure stuff. I tried to figure things out. You know, first playthrough and all that. And, you know, it's a good start so far. Good start so far. Okay. So, uh, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.